Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So in here, this is a experiment that we, which we might have a look at in a little while. I'm at Henk Uren's man cave here in Holland. And he's going to walk us through a series of experiments that he's done uh, ostensibly on the sacred geometry, but with his own inspiration and ingenuity laid over the top. So, Henk, uh, what am I looking at up here? Well, this is the um, the aluminium I used. You you suggested aluminium to use as a fuel or base product, and I started with uh, sheets of aluminium on top of each other, and then there was activity in one side of the aluminium. You can see carbon, you see destruction, you see things going on. But the problem is that when you put spaces in there it doesn't it, it falls apart and it shrinks and so on so I thought well maybe just make a, a block of aluminium foil and start working with that and and that I started on this way and it, it melted and then it started to melt on one side and again on one side and it started to melt somewhere in the middle and here it started to melt on a specific place and here it started burning through. It's got a hole at the top and a hole through the sides. I just punched a, a hole through it, hasn't it? Yeah. So all different behaviors and then... This uh, one you... So we, one of these you didn't have a cap on it, did you? Yeah, exactly. And then I started yeah, to experiment okay. with... And then it started... So th this one here didn't have the dome over the top, the iron dome. Right. And, then and it just kind of went on the top, right? Yeah. Not around the outside. And what I found out is that aluminium um, attracts this plasma, or you can say this plasma likes aluminium to, to be in. It, it, it's really attracting it. This is, uh, I think, one of the most fascinating ones because it's like, uh, it's found a zone here and a zone here, and you can see it's like carbonized through the channel. Uh, and uh, what's going on there? Can we actually see light through there? I don't know. <laughs> that are much more interesting. Yeah. But this, this, this is very interesting. And probably when you look in, under a microscope and maybe even further, it, it, it's probably very fascinating to see all the destructions going on. Nothing on the top, nothing on that side, but all kinds of stuff going on over here. Get that in the right order. Okay, so you didn't stop there. We've got some other samples on the other side of the room, right? Uh, here, so, I, here I started with uh, a different one. So this was an idea you had, like, does it really make a difference if I have the metal tube? Can I can I see what's going on? And so you use this me metal mesh. Is this an iron mesh? Uh, stainless steel. Stainless steel, okay. But it, but it's, yeah. That might be interesting if it's stainless steel because, you know, it's not ferromagnetic. Yeah, well, it's this material. <clears throat> right, yeah, some there. Okay, and so and then what's started, the progression the first here? one is that it started again with on one side and one side and here a little in the middle. And so it, there is some um, consistency in that's not equally being eaten, you can say. Um, and some experiments were long and some short. This one I, I have to find out in my notes. I, have, I used it twice um, with a different uh, cap on it. And the first time nothing happened and the second time it started burning inside one side again. And we're here with Tony Giovanni, aka Rob. He's hiding over on the other side of the room there. And he uh, pointed out that in his Windhex analog, uh, he also sees as Frank Polifka did, uh, something coming mostly out of one side, right? That's correct. That's all you're going to see of him. <laughs> <laughs> but then I got bored of the, the aluminium. I started silver, silver yeah. a silver maple leaf. Nothing happens really, yeah. but this it's was... It's a good a, use of a silver maple leaf. Uh, right. Yeah. I mean, what, what else can you use it for? Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, this is uh, brass. Mm-hmm. And with brass powder in it, with a little iron powder in it. And this was the first time 
of all these experiments, or these experiments, that uh, the tank got black again. Right. Only with this one. And, and, it, and we know that from the, the was, Vega Valley, there seemed to be within the crack a huge amount of carbon type structures formed in fact even diamond it would seem and so if you've got uh brass in here powder do you know what size the grains are well it, very, it's very fine right very fine i don't know it's uh, 10 micron type that sort of range yes yeah okay and um it's it's not you can see it's it's changed a little bit but um the stem of the anode was very black, and inside it was this was the uh, the old dome. You can say that's mm -hmm. now in the, in the experiment, mm -hmm. and I did create the same uh, sample. You can say. So we're I gonna... wanted to see if this yeah. this had the same kind of effect. Mm -hmm. Well, the effect is that there is a lot of activity in the dome, and you cannot see. In this case, I could not see what's going on, mm -hmm. but the result was a lot of carbon or something that's black. Because exactly. you can have black copper oxide. Then it's maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't tell. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these last few here? Uh, you can say more of the same. Um, and, and this one is it's again is yeah. it metal, no, steel. This one's steel. And you, you put the same kind of mixture in there, did yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, uh, and you can see when you can go watch inside, it's difficult yeah. to see in the camera right now, but you can see there is destruction going on mm -hmm. or something. Um, and it's going, and what I think is very interesting, it's going on inside the dome, inside this, you can say, in this side of this cup, mm -hmm. there is activity going on. There we go, you look inside there, this is the brass and iron. So what it is really is going on, that, that's difficult to tell, but in this one you can see uh, patterns that we can recognize as, as this magnetic fluid stuff that you could see mm -hmm. in, the, in the Vega Valley. It, it looks the same, but you need a microscope to... Oh, we got a good shot here. Out. Here in the, in the middle, that, that, mm. that, that field is, is like clean. Mm. But there is a pattern, so there has been uh, some playing around, and there also it was powder, and now it's it's a mixture of. Mm. And so what it is really going on? Well, that, that needs more investigation, needs more equipment. So thanks, Hank. Uh, we'll be uh, doing a couple of experiments now, and we'll show those later. Yes. Okay. Thank. Thanks, Bob.